Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we will make custom transitions for Blender. If you are using Blender for video editing you probably know that it only comes with a few standard transitions which uh, is not very customizable. So in this video I will show you how you can make your own. Let's create. In Blender we will be using Eevee and I will go to world settings and turn the color down to all black. I will select the camera and make it autographic. I will go to camera view and add a plane, rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees, scale it up on the X, on the Y, Z, Z, like this. Make sure that it's outside the boundary of the camera. And we will give it an emission shader and make it all white. Go to rendered view. So the idea is we want to go from completely white to completely black. So, make sure you, in preferences, have under add-ons, add curve, extra objects. You need to turn this on. Then you can say shift A, curve, curve profiles, and add a star. And give it five points. Then we will rotate it on the X 90 degrees and I will move it a bit forward like this. Next we will go to frame 80, go to camera view, scale it up like this and add a keyframe. Rotation, location, rotation scale. Go back to frame zero and hit S for scale, zero on the numpad and hit enter. Hit R to rotate, type 45 and hit enter and I location, rotation scale. like that. Now we need to make sure that the first couple of frames are totally white. So we will just make move this keyframe a couple of frames so that frame 0 and 1 is totally white. Next we will just double check that it's completely black and completely white. Go to frame 81, 81, type, yeah, in the end, type 81. Go to sampling, just turn it down to 2. Go to output, <coughs> type star, transition, and just render. And there we go. Go to video editing and find some videos. I have this one and I have this one. I don't need the sound so I will delete that. And I know that this video is black at the end so I'll just cut it right there. 
give me some more keyframes move it up like this <clears throat> and now we need the file just rendered which is star transition delete this out make sure that it begins at the bottom file like this now you will select both of them and grab so that it's ending like this now select the top one and I will just make sure that you can see what I'm doing select the top video and go to modifiers mask and add star transition so you will get this there you have it next we will make another kind of transition where we are delete the star and we will use a texture this time so scale this up like this zoom out go to shader editor and add a noise texture and then add a color ramp put the factor into factor and the color into color like this hit select noise texture and hit control T and select object and now we need a timeline so Again, we need to go from pure white to pure black. In order to do that, we will move these like this. And I will hit frame, frame 0 and hit I on this one. Go to frame 90 and move it up like this and hit I and we will keyframe this one hit I and move to frame 80 and move it up until everything is black like so and hit I then we have this and to make sure that the first couple of frames are totally white you just move this keyframe like this it's totally white and the next one is uh, we can also give it some movement by go here you can see this movement we don't need much just point point three something so we'll start on zero hit I go to frame 90 and type point three and hit I so we have this mm maybe a little bit more movement 0.5 i yes and we will go to video editing delete this x we have to delete it before we can render this one frame 91 and it and call it and render it <clears throat> and with this technique you can use uh, 
brick texture, you can use uh, magic textures and Voronoi. You can use just about anything. Just make sure you go from pure white to pure black. With that being rendered, we will go back to video editing. Give me some more timeline. Go to desktop, video one, video two, delete the last part of this one, and ten folder smoke transition. This one, put it like this, delete the sound, make sure that it starts with video 2 and end with video 1. Grab it like this. Now select the top video and add a mask modifier and select smoke transition and there you have it. Your own custom made transitions in Blender. Nice. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you liked it and see you in the next one.